A quick video for you guys. Like the, I'm working on a 2016 F-150 that was in here before for heated and cooled seats in op. And um, I found one of the TED modules was bad. The heated and cooled modules for the backrest and underneath. And it was just humming a lot. Like the, the motor itself was bad. So I replaced it. And then um, what else was it? Intermittently going down the road when you'd hit bumps and stuff like that, it would lose connection. And I followed it down to this connector right here that goes to the front module under the passenger seat. This connector right here, here's your part number. And if you notice, it says pin material made of tin. Well, on the Explorers, they were having the same issue and they went away from this. They got away from the tin material and went to silver material because it was better connection and it didn't have the problems that the tin did. The tin would wear out. It was kind of... Uh, poor connectivity and stuff like that and they got away from it. They still have not updated the F-150 to give it a silver Coated connector to make better connection So I'm having to go back and reorder the same connector over again because the pin fitment inside this tin connector is not very good It's kind of loose. I just wanted to share with you that on the Explorers and other other vehicles that have the heated and the heated and cooled seats that have this type of problem with this connector they updated it to a better material but on the f-150 certain models you still can't find the updated better fitment uh better material connector so i'm having to go back and order another tin connector to put in this guy's vehicle to maybe get another 60 70 000 miles out of it 100 000 miles before it starts to go bad again and then he'll end up needing another connector or pull the pins apart and kind of close them back up and put them back in but I have to do this right because it's under uh, warranty and because of poor pin fitment and the uh, connection issues uh, you got to replace the pigtail so to do it right under warranty it would be taking the same pigtail splicing in and then putting it back in and then the guy will be back in uh, down the road the silver connectors on the explorers seem to fix the problem after you would splice in the better material connector they never really came back for the heated and cooled seats malfunctioning intermittently uh, because of connector type issues. Thanks guys.